Welcome to another video by FE Builds. In this video, we just took a day out to really just go and have fun and play around, try new things. We had fitted the lockers at this stage, but unfortunately, we never got a chance to use it. So I tried my best to crawl up obstacles as slow as possible um, so that I could reach a point where with open diffs the vehicle couldn't go anymore um, but we never got that chance uh, where we reached that barrier where the vehicle absolutely cannot just go forward and the wheels are spinning uh, and then get to engage the lockers so in this video i only ended up using the lockers going down steep hills and i was using the rear locker and i believe that helps just control the descent and I find it actually works better than using heel descent control so that's the only time I used the lockers um, I believe I did try to use the rear locker on one climb up one very steep hill but that was just once and then the whole time through this track I was going very slow open diffs and this was the point where I used the locker just once at the back that's the rear lockers um but i tried to go through very slow and just get the car stuck with open diffs get to the limit of the open diffs uh, where the car absolutely can't go on anymore and then engage the lockers to see the difference but unfortunately on this track we had traction on all wheels at all times and uh there just wasn't that opportunity so we will release the installation video of the lockers it will come uh, as one of the next videos either one of our rc videos will come up first or that locker video but i would also like to get some good test footage where we push the vehicle with open diffs to a point where it absolutely cannot go forward anymore and then activate the lockers and see the difference that it makes Uh, he knows all the specs, okay. but, uh, but yes, those adjustable ones. Please excuse the wind noise, um, it was a very windy day and we were just recording this with our cell phones because it was a spur of the moment decision to just go out there and test and just have fun. So um, at this point over here when you can see the Jimny going in, it was a part where other vehicle had gotten stuck, had actually got it landed, uh, grounded if I can say. and. Um, the Jimny's open diff just crawled through. I believe it's because of the short wheelbase and also the TRE Omenix that we have are very flexible. It allows the suspension to just flex a lot more and gain that traction that you need. And I ended up even climbing this open diff. I was hoping that I was going to get stuck like the previous vehicle so that I could uh, activate the lockers, but it was not the case. The car just passed through.
as you can see i'm going very slow uh really just idling the car through hoping i would reach a point where the tires just start spinning and then get to test the lockers um but that was not the case and um the rock sliders that we have on this vehicle are the disol rock sliders and they helped so much uh especially when the parts where we touched down in the previous clip you just saw uh, however i did uh dent my front number plate slightly uh coming out of that section where i was hoping to get the car stuck but uh it was an easy fix we just bent it right there on spot bent it straight and all was good so i reversed back down over here aiming to climb it even slower um just to try and get it to slip i wanted to get uh, one of the tires spinning with open diffs and then uh stop and engage the lockers and go forward but the car just kept on pushing through and um, we're gonna get a chance to test it uh, possibly at another track uh, we did really enjoy the Crockett's Hope track and uh, we had so much fun as you can see there are some steep climbs um, but it is hard compact soil and um, I think the time when it will really get to test the lockers is when we get into very soft mud or uh, sand um, or very deep ruts and uh, undulations but uh, over here really um, we really just use the rear locker going downhill just to control the descent Not the I'm just idling. It's literally idling, idling through with open diffs. <laughs> it's doing it tough. I'm not pressing anything. So the sounds that you hear of things moving around is not the shocks bottoming out. It really is a lot of tools that have got spanners and stuff in a metal casing that just move around when we go into a bump or something like that.
Somewhere at this point it may look like uh, the lockers were locked, especially when that front left wheel went up in the air. But I assure you everything was open, all the switches were off, unless somehow the air was stuck in the system and uh, they didn't disengage. However, all the lockers were off. Um, you can see that tire rolling from the push over there and I braked it. Um, but then I just positioned the car very nicely because I kept on getting warnings from the GPS. It's got a gyroscope inside and it measures the angle. And um, at certain points, it just kept on warning me and irritating me. So I reversed and put the car nicely and climbed over it. So once again, the aim of the game was slow and controlled, learn the car, because we had reduced the size of the tires. We have 30 inch tires, uh, which I do use sometimes, and we've got 215s, which I was using today. And um, I just really wanted to also get used to those. So everywhere I went on this track, I was just going slow. And I have used momentum before, but on this particular one, I just wanted to go slow and controlled. And then we come to the rally track, uh, which was really fun. We went fast, not as fast as we did in Limpopo uh, when we were testing out the TRE Omenix in the previous video. But um, we actually did this track quite fast. And um, on this particular lap, we were leading the the pack and uh, at some point we noticed dust from the last vehicle that was behind so we had actually caught up with the vehicle that's at the back so we st sort of slowed down so we don't rear end them by accident uh, because there were some twisties and some blind spots where if you're going too fast uh, you could rear end uh, another vehicle but what we did do before uh, pushing the vehicles like this to show some responsibility is we drove the track slow a couple of times at first just made sure there's no people no animals no one who could get hurt and no one who could get in the way of the vehicle and get hit remember at the end of the day safety is the aim of the game and at FE builds we're all about safety and uh, that's what we did. We were practicing our best practices as we were going around this track. Uh, however, if I did have a rally car, um, maybe a all wheel drive rally car, I would have gone much, much, much faster on this particular track because it was really fun and really nice. There was only one section where a tree had fallen in the way, which you will see.
So that's a wrap for this video. Thank you for watching. We were actually lazy, even though we had the pumps, we were lazy to actually connect them up and uh, pump up the tires on course. So we just drove to the next nearest gas station and they were filled up over there. Thank you for watching. Until next time, from me right here at FE Builds. Cheers.